What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and we're jumping in to a 12 by 12 video. This one is actually on the back of a previous layout that I made uh, over on Patreon using ginormous photos, and I liked the background paper. Now, I know you might be thinking, but Adele, it's green paper, and yes, but I feel like it suits Archie because my little cherub has chosen green as his favorite color and I'm trying to embrace it in small, slightly minty green little bits. Alrighty, now that next door's dog has stopped barking, uh, I decided to embrace the green in honor of this little cherub. And look, you're not going to see lime green backgrounds anytime soon, but I can, I can do a minty green. I can, I can sway that way. So I've got these photos of Arch from now, this would be the start of 2020. And I wanted to scrap them all because they just show all of these little funny faces that he does. And I've been really enjoying multiple page photos on a 12 by 12 layout. I think that there's so many different ways that you can uh, position your photos. You can do photo strips. You could put them all together in one giant photo mat. But today I decided to keep them as they were printed in two four by sixes and mat them with some white cardstock. And then I'm pulling out to compromise with uh, working with green. I've gone for ye old faithful stencil. This is by far one of my faves. Uh, I got it a couple of years ago. It's in the Brisbane Craft Hall. I don't know the brand of it, uh, but it's in that video if you want to find out. And I just, I think stars are such a they're just such a flexible shape and I know that sounds ridiculous but I feel like there's something that you can use for you know stereotypically boy layouts you can use them for stereotypically girly layouts you can use them for a vacation you can use them just anytime you could use them for a picture of your breakfast I think that they're just a, a really fun shape that you know it's just a bit of a happy shape so I'm adding in just a whole haphazard of stars. Uh, there wasn't a lot of rhyme and reason, except that I wanted them to peek out from behind where the photos actually were. And so you could actually see them, that would be helpful. Uh, and then to make them pop even more, I've grabbed my white Uniball Signo Broad gel pen, my fave white pen, and I'm just doodling around all of the stars. I did pause and give them a really good dry uh, with my heat gun. Even though I'm only stenciling just a, a tiny little bit of paint, I, whenever I'm using a paint, pen, uh, sorry, whenever I'm using a pen over the top of my paint, uh, I always give it a, an extra little zhuzh with my heat gun just to make sure because trust me, I have stuffed up so many white pens in the past by not being patient enough to, uh, to wait. So I'm just doing a mixture of some dash lines and some dotty lines. Uh, oh, and by the way, so this video is going up on the last day of May. And if you're an OG inklet, if you've been around for a few years, you'll know about the Inky June Marathon. Now, this year, I won't be doing the Inky June Marathon in the form of a video every day, as I have done in, pre in past years, uh, because it's a, it's a lot of videos. And I've just come off the back of a pretty grueling uh, I'd say eight weeks of medical things with um, Archer's operation and uh, cancer treatments with family members and things like that so I have I am behind in video recording so I'm not doing an inky June marathon video a day but I was thinking of doing a live stream uh, towards the end of June and so what I would love to know is if I was to do a live stream which date would be better for you now this is Australian time I would start on a Sunday morning which in I think in Europe areas it's the evening uh, on Saturday and in maybe like America Canada kind of area it's probably anywhere from midday to the afternoon on the Saturday but I'm thinking either the 20th of June, uh, which is a Sunday, 
or the 27th of June. So please let me know which of those days works best for you. And as a little extra, tell me five things to use for a grab five and I'll pick someone's suggestions uh, and I'll make something when we do with the live stream. So I really look forward. I love the live streams. I They're a way that lets me chat to you in real time and I know it's just it feels like scrapping with friends and as someone who doesn't get to scrap with friends very much I scrap a couple of times a year with friends uh, it's just a nice way to you know hang out with each other and um, feel like I'm sitting in a room with all of my like-minded inklet creatives uh, so yes let me know which weekend works best for you um, and I'll do the majority majority rules as to which one's best and also let me know grab five items please don't suggest a lime green pattern paper background because I don't have any and it's not going to happen <laughs> maybe one day but not today uh, so for while I was gas bagging I stuck my title down I'm really trying to use up some wordy uh, stickers and thickers sorry that I have and I've had this meet me in the sunshine for a really long time I think I may have had three packets of these stickers and so by the end of it I was getting a little bit sick of them so they have been at the back of my craft stash for quite a while. I'm also embracing the uh, the beach themed stickers as Archie is in his swimmers here. Oh here's a question for you what do you call swimmers? So here where I live we call them swimmers uh, in other parts of Australia, they are called togs or cozies. Uh, what do you call the things that you bathe in? Bit of a tangent there. Uh, but I am. I'm trying to use up beach theme stickers because, uh, as I've said before, I don't, I don't, I'm not a particular fan of the beach with my ranga, rang rang hair, uh, being a redhead. Son and I, just we're, we're just not friends. We've tried... It's just not happening. Even with sunscreen, it just, it, it fails. Uh, so I, I don't like the beach, but this guy is mad for the beach. He would be happy to spend half a day running on the sand, shoving sticks into big piles of sand castles, running away from the ocean. He loves it. Uh, so it's a good opportunity to use up all those stickers that I rarely use. I decided to add this little so sweet uh, in the puffy but I didn't like the black of it it was just uh, it was blending in a little bit too much with the photo with the dark carpet and so I grabbed my Posca paint pen uh, and just colored straight over the top of it Posca paint pens are such a great way to add a little bit of color uh, to your embellishments if you want to change things up a bit and then I added some dotty little bits here and there and everywhere and then I'm going back in with more little dotty bits and pieces and I decided to dry it because I have smudged way too many things. I've, I've got one layout left peeps for my 2019 albums and it's driving me a bit crazy because I have this one half finished layout and I very rarely walk away from a layout without finishing in one setting but I accidentally smudged uh, paint across Archie's face in this photo not not in this layout in the other layout and I desperately need to reprint the photo do you think I can find my Canon selfie no it's gone walkabouts who knows where it's gone it's vanished so I either need to go to the shops and reprint it or oh, just forget that layout ever happened but I really like it which so hopefully it's a YouTube one so hopefully you'll see it within the next six months <laughs> I get around to printing the photo eventually but there's nothing that bothers me more than uh, smudged paint on layouts and I've done a lot of them in the past so then I felt like I just needed a pop of something else and the girl in the top right hand sticker is floating on like a pink um what are they called inflatable ring thing and so I thought a little hint of uh, soft pink would work out well and it just kind of complements the dark blue and the minty colors and jazz hands we're done so please let me know about the live stream 
uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps other inklets come across my channel in the recommended video section. And I will see you all very, very soon. Have a great week. Bye.